What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be comparing the tones in the gold palette, as you see up here. This is an oldie but a goodie, kind of a classic, a lot of people's favorite. And the brand new Yucca palette on the bottom there from Natasha Denona. I'm going to be doing a look on each eye. One eye is going to be the gold palette, one eye is going to be the Yucca palette. And I'm going to basically try to do as close to the same look as I possibly can. And then we're just going to look at both looks as a whole and compare the tones in both. That way you can really see the difference on the eye of what these two palettes can do. I have seen a lot of people comparing the Yucca palette to other palettes, but they've been doing swatches, right? And while that's all well and good, I honestly feel like seeing a shadow on the eye is different from seeing it in a swatch. So I thought that I would do this this way. I personally felt like the new Yucca palette was kind of a continuation of the gold series, if you want to call it that. The gold palette exists in this larger 15 pan format where the pans are bigger, still the same number of shadows, but the pans are bigger. It's a little more Actually, it's a lot more expensive. It's $129 for this palette. And then there's also a mini gold palette, which I don't own, but it's five pans and they're very small. And I think that one is $27. I don't even know if that one's still available, but within the gold family, there's the big palette and then it's mini counterpart. People are always asking Natasha Denona to release those bigger palettes in the more affordable mid size or midi size. And I feel like this is kind of, in some ways, Natasha Denona's answer to that. This seems to me like a little bit of an expansion of the gold theme, gold color story. So I wanted to compare these two palettes. And we'll just see how similar they are. Maybe they're super different. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna, you know, I'm, I'm gonna speed through the look. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, do the time lapse thing, but I'm gonna tell you which shades I'm going to use before I get into it. So for the outer corner shade with the Yucca palette, I think I'm going to actually go in with this shade here, Willow. Um, in the pan, it doesn't look as deep as the cream to powder shade called Calathea, Calathea, but <laughs> cream to powder shadows usually take a little more building up. And Calathea, Calathea, whatever it is, it has more of a kind of warm yellowy undertone. So I wanted to do Willow because it's a bit more forest green. It's a little more cool toned. It's not anywhere near as cool toned as the shade that we're going to use from the gold palette, but it's, you know, the closest thing to it that we're going to get from this palette. I'm going to be swatching these on the back of my hand and comparing them before we do the look. So this is Willow from the Yucca palette. That's our outer corner shade. And from the gold palette, I want to go in with Python which is this one up here. It might be a bit deeper. Let's swatch and compare. Okay, so these are actually more similar than I anticipated. Python does have more blue in it, but they're very close. So this is more like a forest green, and then this is kind of like a, like a deep sea green. I don't know, does that make sense? <laughs> is that a thing? I do want to try to use as many shades as possible. So I'm going to do a little bit of a sort of crease shade. I'm not going to go too crazy with it because I don't want it to be like too dramatic or anything, but I'm thinking maybe I will do, I think I'm going to take Citrine from the Yucca palette and Dijon from the Gold palette. I feel like those two shades will be comparable. So as I'm swatching these, I'm realizing that there's a little bit of eye primer <laughs> on my hand here. I used uh, I just, I got some eye primer on my hand earlier, so if it looks super dark right there, that's why. Um, actually, it might even be, gosh, I wonder if that's a little bit of like the gloss that was on my hand. I don't know, but there's something on my hand here, so the swatches are a little wonky. I swatched these two next to each other, and I'm realizing Citrine is actually much lighter than um, Dijon. So I took over here a little swatch of, what is it, Tipu? Tipu. <laughs> this one here, I'm thinking maybe that one is a little more similar. Hmm. Should I switch? Should I, should I do Tipu? Okay, so I just switched out um, Citrine for Tipu and I built up Dijon a little more so you can see <laughs> the color a little bit better. I hate that that's like that. And this whole side is probably going to end up being like that. But anyway, 
that's what we're going to go with. This is a bit deeper. These are both kind of deep shades, so I'm going to have to be careful about how I use them, but I do like to have some depth in my crease. So then for the lid shade from the Yucca palette, I'm going to go in with this beautiful one here. I've been very excited to use this. It's called Plantasia. It's a beautiful duochrome. It's very, very shiny and sparkly. Very excited about that one. And then on the gold side, of course, we're going to go in with this shade here. What a beautiful shadow. Um, the name of this one is Lime Chrome, and those are going to be our lid shades. So I feel like the Lime Flip in Lime Chrome is a little more subtle, but I feel like the base on Plantasia is a little more visible. So I'm interested to see how those two will compare on the actual eye. I do want to take a shimmer on the outer part of my lid where the depth is going to be at. And uh, I want to take these more cool tone shadows. So this one called Elys Elysian, Elysian uh, from this palette, the Yucca palette. I'm going to take that one on the outer part of the lid. Then from the gold palette, I'm going to take Aurora. So as you can see, the shade from the gold palette is much more kind of blue, whereas this one is more kind of like gray or like, a, you know, like a metal sort of a color. I do want to go in on the inner corner um, with Ray from the Yucca palette, and then I'm going to take Aurum from the gold palette. I don't think that these particular shadows are going to be super comparable, but I feel like they have similar, um, not textures, but like similar shine to them. They're both a little more subtle. Obviously the shadow from the Yucca palette is a lot more green, whereas the one from the gold palette is a lot more kind of bronze or copper toned, but hopefully they will be comparable. Finally, I'm not 100% decided on where I'm going to throw these, but I just want to throw down these two shades to compare them. I might put them kind of like under the eye. Uh, I'm going to take Kamarebi, Kamarabi, I don't know how you pronounce that, um, but this one from the Yucca palette and this beautiful gold with a green tinge called Brass from the Gold palette. So the actual tone of the one from the Yucca palette is a bit lighter, whereas this one is kind of similar to the rest of these shades, a little bit deeper and a little bit more kind of bronzy. So let's see how this goes. Let's see how these two palettes compare on the eye. So as we're speeding through these two looks, I just want to point out that I did use the same brushes for both looks, but I did clean them between uses. So there was no cross-contamination between, you know, the shades from the Yucca palette and the shades from the gold. There were a few segments of me applying the makeup where I forgot to do the time lapse. So instead I just filmed it regularly and then had to speed it up. So sorry about that. I feel like I should also point out the fact that I used my sort of crease shade as the shade along the lower lash line as well. And I did take those shimmers that I said I was going to use on the bottom of the eye and I ran those across a little ways too. I'm not afraid to use shimmer under my eye. Okay folks, so what do you think? I feel like in a lot of ways this has kind of confirmed what I suspected that um, this new palette would be. I definitely feel like the Yucca palette is the more sort of warm toned of the two looks. I mean, this inner corner shade on the gold side is actually warmer than the inner corner shade that I used on the Yucca side, um, but there's not a lot of examples of shades in gold that are more warm toned than the shades in yucca. I am going to throw on mascara and I might even take a couple minutes just to make sure that my blend is, you know, proper. Um, but these are the two looks. I definitely think that the yucca palette is also just in general more green centric. This side, I mean the gold palette in general has more golden shades in it. All of the very vibrant shimmers in Yucca are green, except for, oh, by the way, let's take a closer look at that because I wanted to compare the effect that those shadows had. So, I mean, it's definitely different. There's more green going on on this side. Like I'm trying to like see it, but also turn my eye enough so that you can see what's going on. 
I feel like obviously this side has more green and then this one is just kind of like this more silvery shimmer um, but they play very similar roles in looks do you see a big difference in these looks I'm not trying to say by the way that one palette is better than the other or that if you have one you don't need the other because I basically used all of the shades that I personally thought were comparable for this look so I'm not trying to say like oh if you have this palette then you have the gold palette or if you have the gold palette then you have the yucca palette they're very different palettes and they give different tones as you can see so but the point is I do feel like they are rather akin to one another and definitely counterparts to one another. You could use these palettes together and make beautiful looks. I can't decide. I think I like the Lime Chrome shade better than the, um, what's the name of it again? Look at me, I cannot remember the name. Plantasia? Plantasia. I think I like Lime Chrome better than Plantasia on the eye because that green in Lime Chrome is in frick incredible. Plantasia is beautiful, but Mmm, lime chrome is better. <laughs> Let me put on mascara and I'll show you the finished look. Okay, folks, so mascara is on. I do really like the way that mascara kind of makes a look feel mm, finished, completed, capped off. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the finished look, or I guess two looks. Um, this side, as always, is a little bit more like blown out than this one. It's something to do with the way that I reach across, I think, because I'm right-handed, I'm tearing a little bit because, I don't know, my eyes always get irritated when I do stuff with my lash line. But yeah, this is the finished look. I really hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you liked seeing the two palettes used on the eyes, not just swatched. And um, yeah. I hope that you had a great time. I definitely did. I think that this was a lot of fun. I love both of these palettes so much and using them like this was a lot of fun. Maybe in the future I'll do a look using the two of them together, not just like on separate eyes. Let me know if you wanna see me compare this palette to any other palettes. Like I know that there's some shades in Yucca that you could compare to the Hella palette. Um, from Odin's Eye. I know that that one's discontinued, but it still might be interesting to just see how it compares, like if you already have that palette in your collection. Uh, but yeah, if you are new here, please make sure to subscribe. I upload every Sunday and every Wednesday. We have a good time over here. I will be seeing you guys again on Sunday. I hope that you have a great week. Peace.